there are moments in this journey where I ask myself, what am I doing? Are, are you ever gonna make this into a place that is safe and comfortable for your family? And then there are moments, I might add a lot less, moments where I actually believe that it's gonna happen. Um, I, I, I'm, for whatever reason right now, I'm in the midst of one of those moments. Um, right here where Ruger was just sitting is where I'm gonna put the, uh, the water tank. Um, I was able to carve the road in a, in a way that I think I'm gonna drive my truck right up here. I think I'm gonna strap the tank to the back of my truck and drive it right up here. And this particular spot right there where Ruger's standing is very flat. It's one of the flattest spots up here. It also happens to be about 90 feet above the house. Um, I don't know why all of a the sudden there's part of me that goes, this is gonna happen. Uh, there's a lot of days up here. Part of the reason why I always have my earbuds in is because I'm afraid to be alone with my own thoughts. Uh, sometimes we can be our own worst enemy and uh, I have a tendency to be that way with myself as far as, far as being critical. And I'm just wallowing in this moment right now where it's number one, it's a beautiful day. It's about 65 degrees, it's trying to rain. Uh, it's just one of those moments where it's it's, it's a, a blessing and a privilege to be up here doing what I'm doing. The view, you know, obviously I'm just in a good mood because I'm starting to actually feel like this thing's gonna happen. So now I'm gonna use the laser level. I'm gonna carve out about a 15 by 15 spot right behind me where the water tank and then the, the small shed building I'm gonna cover the water tank with will be sitting right here. This also happens to be one of the points on my property where it gets a lot of direct sunlight. Uh, there's, there's part of me that, that thinks that the solar panels would probably do really good up here, but it's a long ways from the house. Um, anyway, I'm gonna level this out real quick uh, and I'm gonna, tr I'm gonna try my, my dangdest to get that uh, water tank up here today. Uh, but I've gotta get that level, I've gotta make sure that soil is compact uh, the one thing I do not want to do is compromise that water tank because I didn't take time during the uh, preparation of the pad. So here we go. There was a time when clearing a piece of land and making a living on that same piece of land and doing it with your own two hands was the only option. There was really nothing to be celebrated because it was just what people knew. Somewhere along the way, the world became very easy to live in, at least in the Western world. Somewhere along the way, people stopped building their own homes. Somewhere along the way, people stopped growing their own food. Life became very easy. Getting a mortgage and a couple of car payments was just what was done. Somewhere around the early 1900s, less than 10% of the property owned in the United States had mortgages on it. Fast forward over 100 years and it's just the opposite now. People have forgotten how to live with purpose. The irony of what we're doing up here on the side of this mountain is I don't believe we understood the potential void this would fill in our lives. I most certainly had no idea how much work it would take to do what we want to do on this particular piece of property. But as we went to work and applied ourselves, we found this joy of taking a piece of ground that may have been worthless to somebody else and turning it into something that was worth living for.
It seems at times that for every step we take forward, it's followed by two steps backward. A lot of these things that we're doing, people don't know how to do anymore. I find myself talking to the old timers around town, asking about developing springs and developing wells and things that are just not done this way anymore, trying to figure out how to do it. Most of this is just common sense. Thank goodness for Google. I found that at times it can be overwhelming thinking about what needs to be done up here and not just what's required to live up here, but the long-term challenge of living up here. There have been moments where I've told myself this is why people buy existing homes. This is why people live in town. But that being said, the most joy I've ever found in my life comes shortly after the greatest challenges. How far can an individual be stretched or challenged or pushed if they never put themselves in a situation of being pushed? What's a person capable of? Our intentions were never to do this all on our own, but the deeper we got into it, the more we realized we could. While the average cost right now to build a new home is somewhere around 150 to as much as $200 a square foot for a basic home, not a custom home, but a basic home, So let's put that into perspective. If you built a thousand square foot, you're gonna pay $165,000 to have that home built. And that's not counting the price of ground. Now to think that we've been able to build our house for somewhere around $16 a square foot. But the joy that comes from some of these battles that are won is a beautiful feeling. We've gotten a long way down the unconventional road doing things our way. It starts with the way I make a living now. I don't know how many dozens and dozens of people told me it would never work. Eight years later, it still works well, and it gives me the time that I need to do what we're doing up here. I don't know what else to say other than I wish more people would take chances. I wish more people would recognize that there's no such thing as job security. I wish more people would go out and let the world determine how much their time is worth. I wish more people would build their own homes. I'll say it again. I don't believe we fully understood what we were getting into when we started. And we've had a number of moments along the way where we questioned whether or not we should or could do this. But as we're starting to make some major breakthroughs in the back of my head, I've never been more certain that this is our path in life. I was able to get the tank up the hill in the back of my truck and get it set in place without any issues. I put two layers of carpet underneath it after uh, working that soil and getting every rock out of there I possibly can and making sure it is precision level. 
Um, and I also have enough room for a second tank. So if we decide we want to add a second water tank, um, just just to be safe, which I, I like the idea of uh, sometime next year maybe, um, I have room to do it. I've got plenty of room for it. Um, so the next step is to get the water line ran the, the last little bit uh, of the way up the hill, uh, get it connected, and then all I've got to do is, is uh, tie in the uh, water pump and the solar panels down there at the well. So um, I, I was surprised at how well my truck was able to get up the hill. And again, the excavator lifted the tank without any issues. So things are going good. Another beautiful day sitting up here on the hill. Uh, a little bit warmer than it was yesterday, but still beautiful up here in the breeze. This little part of my property right here, where I'm able to look out over the, uh, the valley, looking back towards town, is one of my favorite spots for some reason. Um, I, I think I'm going to cut a trail in up here where we can drive along this ridge. Actually, there's a spot just back over here where I want to dig a pond. Um, there's a runoff area that I think would be perfect for a pond. And knowing that my truck can get up the hill, it, you know, it would sure be easy to get up here on four wheelers and uh, bring Cedar and the kids up here, something like that. Uh, I think it'd be a great spot to get deer and elk hanging around if I had a little place where water was accumulating. So anyway, a good day. Things are going great. I'm going to spend the rest of the day running the water line. I'm going to put two more yard hydrants in on the hill. Uh, my thoughts are that somewhere on that hill um, I could have a water tank for cows, for goats, for whatever we choose to have. Um, and then uh, I'm going to try and, like I said, get everything finished up this week. Um, I'm going to bring a pressure gauge up and hook the gauge up at the lowest point to see, in fact, how high the pressure is, just kind of for fun. And then uh, the rest is history, so I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting this, this done, to say the least. I, I will then, at some point in the very near future, build a uh, lean-to style shed, meaning one side will be high, the back side will be low. Um, a shed that I can add on to, again, to cover the other building. I'll probably do a 2x4 construction use that Roxel insulation I have to insulate the heck out of it. And then I'm going to have to figure out some sort of a 12 volt uh, solar powered heating source uh, for when it gets really cold in that room. Uh, I'm hoping the ambient temperature of the water combined with uh, the insulation keeps it um, above freezing, but uh, it's already getting down to 37 at night in town, which means it's about 30 degrees up here at night probably. So we got another good week or two of warm weather. Uh, I got to get this done fairly quickly, but uh, I'm sure happy to have this tank up here.